Hi, I wanted to talk about one of the more powerful tools in Ableton Live 11 that I've kind of missed. Um, and for this one, I will be using one of my more fun songs, which is the Iceberg. The Iceberg and the Titanic, they such good friends. Hang around and do what they want, what mysteries will they solve? And what the thing allows you to do is convert either the melody, the harmony, or the drums from audio to MIDI, so that you can then actually sort of play around with and get an idea with what's going on in the audio. So the first one you can do is the harmony. And then the next one is the melody. And then the final one is the drums. Wow, they sound awful. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I knew they wouldn't be brilliant, but yeah, they're pretty average. Um, and that probably has a lot to do with the way that I made that song, in that the drums are very quiet. I'm using a lot of auto-tune and there's two voices going on at any one time. So the harmony is actually the one that sounds the best. If I don't cherry pick the worst parts of it, the unfiltered harmony sounds like this. And don't get me wrong, there's still weird bits high and low, but by just trimming the highest and lowest parts of that, that's all I'm going to do. You can get it to sound like this. I mean, that in itself is already pretty good. And then from that, what you can then do is when you actually click on any MIDI tracks, um, you can sort of choose the scale that they're in. And what that does is it only shows the notes that are within that scale. So I don't remember what I recorded the song in, but we can fairly easily find out by just looking at what some of the root or some of the lowest notes are that are meant to be in the song, set it to that, and then just delete all the notes that aren't in that scale, and that results in this. But yeah, so that at that point is pretty much a good recreation of that song because of the way it's formed. I'll do this one for harmony and I'll actually do tomorrow night being melody and the night after being drums for different songs. But what it allows you to do is find out exactly what notes are making up the audio and they can really allow you to help understand what's going on. And the other thing you can do is utilize a vocoder in which you sing and then that MIDI track that you've created you can then feed that into the vocoder and get something like this. In the open Pacific, nothing to worry about. Till it came to that fateful night, where they came a little close. <laughs> 